early. It's 6 o'clock. I woke up at 5.30. I don't know. Things, things are changing. It's good. My sleeping schedule in California was not satisfying for me. So, also, this is the best time of the day because it's not so hot yet. It's great. Until about 7, 7.30. That's when the sun properly rises and then BAM! So I'm gonna go for a run or walk. I'll see how I go because we're actually gonna go on another little adventure today. So I have to save my energies a little bit. That's what's happening. Another beautiful day in the Caligula. <laughs> into the day and I just realized that I totally forgot to meditate because I was so excited that I woke up for sunrise and to go down to the beach that yeah I forgot to meditate so I'm gonna do that now before we then head out onto our little adventure in a couple of hours Robin's priming meditation again. I learned it at Dead with Destiny last year in December and then the spark got reignited at UPW a couple of weeks ago and I really like this meditation. It's a wonderful mix of a moving breathing meditation that reminds me maybe a little bit of like kundalini breathing exercises which is then followed by immense feelings and focus of gratitude Followed by channeling the energies of the universe, and then you finish up with manifesting achievements and just kind of envisioning your goals. And I then kind of freestyle it a little bit and add on a few meditation elements that I personally enjoy. But yeah, it's a it's a great meditation, and I'll link to it up here so you can check it out. It's a guided meditation and just kind of pick and choose what you like maybe, but it's very powerful and at least try it out and see how you go. Waiting for the bus to Leon. It's time. Here you get another view of the house. So I sleep upstairs, office, kitchen, living room, beach. There you have it. And these are the garbage bins of Las Pinatas. Look at that creativity that went into this garbage bin. There are regular, there are regular cleaning gangs, I think volunteers maybe, that walk up and down the village and clean up the streets and everything. So improvements I would say. No? Big improvements. Big improvements. Because as you can tell it's all pretty clean here in the village. Hi Rafi! The bus is coming!
which is Easter, and they're going completely nuts. So they are building stages and getting everything ready for the big parties. It's going to be nuts the next 10 days, all oh, over Central America, really. So first step is we're going up to the cathedral and see Leon from above. Around Leon. 
and we are going to this one. Volcano. There's still the first stuff going on up the there. Was that was up here in 2008. There, so that's Fuck it. I'll give it a go. nine years ago. So he grabbed his own bike. He that makes me feel gear. a bit old. He so I've been here before, but I barely remember, to be honest. Started up here, it's amazing. <laughs> so Abby's my hero because <laughs> he's carrying my beard because I'm carrying the backpack with the drone and the camera equipment. <laughs> And all these gadgets. So he's helping me out. Here's it's the second part of this hike. It is turning out to be quite steep actually. And every kilo counts. Just saying, look. <laughs> we got back because we were so tired and exhausted and <laughs> there was just no more energy to close up the video. However, there's one more thing because I can't end this and leave Las Pinitas without this. Wow well, guys, so we actually never told you the story of how we met. You guys are actually up to. So Rob, what's the story? Well, we met about 30 years ago, I guess, right? Yeah, we figured it out the other day. It was in 2003. Right. Back in Austria. I went to university there. And anyway, so it's been a long time. 
uh, awesome friendship, traveling all over the world. Uh, these guys are doing awesome stuff. For one, they have a great blog called Keep a Travel. And what is that about? It's about uh, online platform focusing on volunteer travel, and we provide information and also reports on volunteer trips and lots of background information, interviews, everything dealing with volunteer travel or volunteer tourism. It's an amazing resource, guys. Definitely go and check it out. DeeperTravel.de. It's in German. I'll put all the links that we mentioned below in the description section. But it's probably the best resource you can find in German about volunteer travel and sustainable travel. Really cool. And then the second thing you guys do. We run a small travel agency focusing on sustainable tourism in Nicaragua. Yeah. And uh, we mainly provide three different types of travel activities. Volunteer travel again. Uh, theme-based round trips, focusing on, for example, fair trade, and classical language trips. It's really cool stuff that these guys do, so go and check it out. It's localtrips.com, I believe. Oh, there's the website, actually. You should visit us here in the, on the internet yeah. or in our office in Salzburg or in Leon. Yeah, awesome, cool, wow. These are the shout-outs I, shout I really wanted to do because these guys do important work and I really appreciate just how far they've come and what they've uh, created with different travel and motor trips. So anyway, thanks for having me, guys. It's been amazing, amazing 10 days. Thanks for coming around. Yeah. And of course, Alfie, you need to say goodbye to the people loved you. She's still a bit sleepy. But anyway, if you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, whatever you have, love, put it below in the comment section. And subscribe to my channel. I will see you in San Juan de Sur in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.